Hi, I'm Joe, a tutor at HelpingDevelop.com. In this tutorial series, creating a membership website, we're going to be going over connecting to the database and also making the basic pages. In this tutorial series, I'm going to be working with an XAMP. If you don't already have XAMP, then I've made a tutorial on how to get it. But the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to start the control panel and we're going to start the Apache and MySQL service. Then, within the htdocs of XAMP, we're going to create a new folder and name it Membership. Now we can start creating the pages. For this, I'm going to be using Dreamweaver CS 5.5, but you can use any text editor. I'm going to go File, New, and we're going to create a new PHP document. Then, we're going to rename the document Welcome to My Membership Website. And then Save. And we're going to save it as index.php in the folder we just created. Then, within the body section, we're just going to add some content. And for me, I'm going to do a head one tag saying, Welcome to my membership website. Then, below this, I'm going to write two links. The first link is going to be login. And the second link is going to be register. Notice how both the links are linked to a pound symbol. It's because we haven't created the pages yet. So now if we go to our default web browser and type in localhost within the membership folder, you can see how our website looks so far. So now let's add some CSS. So we're going to go file, new, and create a new CSS document. Then we're going to apply to the body a background color of a light gray. We're going to apply the font family. And for this tutorial, I'm going to be using Tahoma. And then we're going to set the margin to zero pixels to make it fit right to the top of the browser. Then I'm going to apply a style to the head one tag and it's going to change the size to 24 pixels, the font weight to 700, which is bold, and then the color to a light gray slash dark gray, so 666. And then I'm going to apply a style to the A, which is the links. And I'm just going to change the color and I'm going to find a color which I like, so this one here and text decoration is going to be equal to none to, e to remove the underline. Then I'm going to do a colon hover to apply a hover effect to that. And I'm just going to change the color to maybe a darker version of this. So this one here. Then I file, save and create a new folder, name it CSS. Within this I'm going to call it global CSS. Then to link it, we're going to go index.php. Within the head tags, we're going to type in link href within the CSS folder global.css. Then rel is going to be equal to stylesheet and type equals text slash CSS. Then you can see that the styles have been applied. Now, another thing you may want to do is you may want to wrap it into a container. So you want to do div class and we're going to call it container. I'm just going to tab the content inside. Then I'm going to create a new class in the CSS and name it the same, container. I'm going to have a width of 940 pixels and a padding of 10 pixels because together they make up a width of 960 pixels. Then the background color is going to be white to make it stand out from the body background. Then I'm going to give it a border of one pixel solid and a light gray. Now what you may want to do is you may want to apply a class named center and then this will be a class with text aligned center within it and this will align the text within the container once you do space center within the class attribute and it will align the text to center like so. Now what you may want to do is you may want to align the container to center of the document. So what you do is you do margin and then however pixels from the top so I'm going to do 20 and then you write auto. Now auto will automate the left and right hand pixels to make it in the center. Now we're going to be connecting to the database. So we go into PHP MyAdmin within localhost and we select databases. Then we're going to create a new database and name it membership. Once this database is created, you'll see it appear on the left. Then we log in and you can see that this is our database with no tables in it yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go File, New, 
and we're going to create a new PHP document and just open the PHP tag and close the PHP tag. Then we're going to write MySQL underscore connect. Now this takes three arguments and we're going to split each argument up with a comma, leaving the comma out at the end. Then the first argument is the server, so for me is localhost. Then it's username, so for me is root and then password and I just named mine password. Then we do could not connect to server. This means that if there was an error with the MySQL connect, that's the message it will print. And then we do MySQL underscore select underscore DB, standing for database, and we put in the database name, which is membership. Then we just do or die. And we're going to die could not select database. And that's if there was an error with the MySQL underscore select underscore DB. Now we're going to file, save this, and we're going to create a new folder named scripts. Then we're going to save this as connect.php. Now in index.php, instead of including that, we're going to go open PHP tag include underscore once, and we're going to include scripts forward slash global.php. Now what we're going to do is we're going to file new and we're going to create that global.php. And what this global.php is going to have is going to have a session underscore start as we're going to be working with sessions in the login script. Then we're going to include the connect script. So include underscore once connect.php as we're already in the scripts folder. Now this is all that's going to be in here for now. So we're just going to save this as global.php within the scripts folder. Then once that's done, we can save as login.php and we can just change the link to login.php here. I mean, uh, sorry, login.php on the index even. We don't need to change it on login.php. But then we just do the same for register. And we change the link to register.php on the index.php. And then we do file, save as home, which is going to be the logged in display. And then we're going to create profile pages. So we're going to create a new file called profile.php. Now this is it for this tutorial. So stay tuned to our next lesson and we'll be going over creating the members table in our database. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video and comment below. Thank you, goodbye.